How's it going guys? Thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. It really means a lot. So I've been wanting an iFish Pro ever since they came out, but I can't justify spending $90 on a tip-up. So I made my own and I call it the DIY Fish Pro. Here it is. So the first thing that I did was cut two and a half inches off the bottom of a five gallon pail. Then I cut out the center where the line will run through. For insulating I used spray foam. I filled in the entire cavity, the two and a half inches, and then the entire thing is covered in box liner so it has a pretty nice texture to it and the spray foam will stay sealed won't absorb any water for the actual stand itself that connects to the rod holder uh, I used I don't know what you'd call that half inch by one inch piece of wood and then a piece of banding and it can swivel so the whole thing collapses just like the iFish Pro Tucks away to a compact size to put in the sled. This rod holder I just got off of Amazon and screwed it down to the bit of wood. And you can also, if you have different length rods, you can fold down, tilt the rod holder to adjust. For the flag, I just got off of a broken old tip-up, what is this, Berkeley, and uh, I screwed it, well actually there's a, a bolt going through the tip-up, and then this fit perfectly over top of the head of the bolt. And for the trigger, I used a piece of wire, and it's wrapped around the head of the bolt, and if you can see it's got this little lip right here. And that's what the flag will actually sit on. So bring the flag down and it sits on that little lip right there. Then I have a gator clamp and you put your line right in here. So with the line in the gator clamp and the flag resting on that little piece of wire, the line is sitting at your desired depth. The fish pulls, pulls the gator clamp towards the center, releases the flag, and drops the line. And now the fish is allowed to sp free spool, pulling on the line, just like the iFish Pro. Uh, I made this with what the uh, rod holder was about $10, about $5 for a can of uh, spray foam. The flag I already had, everything else I already had. So let's say if you had to go out and buy this stuff, it probably would have been about $25. A lot better than the $90 you had to spend on an iFish Pro. And this probably insulates better. The iFish Pro is pretty chintzy insulation. So this weekend I'm going to be doing a camping trip. And I'm going to take the DIY Fish Pro out for its first trip. And we'll see how it does. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.